Welcome back to episode two of the Unstaged Success podcast. Today, I'm so excited to announce that we have our guest speaker here, Sarah Kazzi from Black Sheep Clothing. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Sarah, I'm going to jump right in. So okay. you're the owner of Black Sheep Clothing. Can you tell us a little bit about the company? So where it stemmed from, you mean? Yeah. Like, okay. It stemmed from like wanting to be original. Like back when we opened nine years ago, almost 10 years now. Wow. Yeah. Um, there was nothing like our store out there. We would go to boutiques and we'd kind of be like underwhelmed. Mm -hmm. I mean, not to be mean. Fair enough. Yeah. But, <laughs> um, and we wanted something that people could wear a piece of our clothes and like feel different, feel, feel more unique in it and not just like everybody else. So that's where the black sheep comes from. Black sheep stands out. How did you guys think of the name? Honestly, we were just sitting around me, my cousin and my sister one day. And one of them came up with it because we were trying to think of like, okay, what's another word for like unique or what's, what's something we could say that's mm -hmm. different. That's pretty much where it came from. That's cute. So there wasn't like anything, there was no like big grand idea with it. It kind of no. just came to you. I'm Black not going to lie to you. It's no. unique, stands <laughs> out. No. no, I like it. I think we had a different name it. at first actually. What was it? So, um, it was SK. Okay. Because our initials are SK. See, and we've I'm got the domain and everything. And then, oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, my God. It was Cray by SK. Yeah. So just totally eliminated Samira. Remember when Kanye's song came out? Which? At Cray. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, And we're yeah. like, oh, my God, Cray. <laughs> we thought it was so smart. Cray by SK. Okay. So yeah. was, and that, then, was that going to include Samira? Yeah, SK is her initials, too. Right, right, right. Okay, yeah, so enough. we were literally like, oh, wait, that's a really bad name. And you learn something we, new every day. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So it, it's interesting because I worked with Sarah and Samira for five years, and I still didn't know how Black Sheep, the name, came about. Um, so it's interesting. Cool. Cool to know. Yeah, she's like a sister to us, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are like the two additional sisters for me. Already have two, two more. <laughs> you know, now I have five. Yeah, yeah. or four. four. Four sisters. Four, I'm like five. <laughs> we're, we're five all together, but I have four now. Um, okay, so how did you and Samira decide that you wanted to open up a retail store together? Like, were you guys doing something prior to the opening of the store? No, she was in school, and I was, I don't know, we always just liked fashion, and like I said, we didn't see anything out there like our, like right. what we created after, but we just thought, why not? Yeah, fair enough. And we both enjoy it, and I started going into fashion merchandising after to learn more. So did you go to school for that? Yeah. Okay, cool. Samira? No, she was in marketing in um, Ryerson. So did you kind of take the lead there, or did she... She was, like, on board even though she didn't have experience in that industry. Honestly, it was, like, we decided to do it, and we were both learning as we went. As you went. Yeah. yeah there wasn't, like, a, oh, yeah, I know everything right, right away. It was kind of, like, a learning experience right. from the start. Okay, cool. And you and Samira have been working together for nine years now. You guys obviously opened the store together, yeah. and you guys are two sisters. Mm -hmm. And from what I know, you guys are very, very close. You have a yeah. very good relationship. Yeah. But do you ever find that working with your family can get a little bit challenging? No. Do you guys ever have any differences? Like, what do you think allows you guys to have a successful business as two sisters? Because I know if that was me and my sisters, it'd be a disaster. <laughs> disaster. Honestly, we get along really, as you've seen, yeah. like, we get along really well. And I think it's because what she, I excel at, she doesn't. And what she excels at, I don't. So it so just works. we have our own roles in the business. So yeah. I think that's why it works. Like, right. We, we never argue. We doing. never like, no, we're pretty like, we go well together. Good. Yeah. Yeah. We never fight. Because she'll nothing. never question what you're doing. She trusts that you're good yeah. in that department. Yeah. And you she just, just takes the lead there she and vice versa. doing the social media mm -hmm. and things like that. But I enjoy doing that. So I was just I'll take over that. that. But I don't like doing the more like number side of it and like the counting and this. And, you She's know that. more of the. You know that. Yeah. <laughs> and she'll She's do that. She's more of the yeah. back end kind yeah. of side of the business. Yeah. Back end of the business. And then you're the marketing, Instagram. Yeah. All that kind of stuff. Yeah. yeah. Cool. I guess I go to buying works. meetings. Uh, she does buying too. Yeah. You know that. But like, I like going in person. She prefers doing it. Like, you know, it's different. Like we like different tasks. Right. Oh, cool. Yeah. This is like a full circle moment for me because I was with 
working at Black Sheep for five years. And then when I told you guys that I wanted to get into design, you guys had said, we actually know Farah yeah. and she's opened up a staging company and, you know, you should yeah. you should reach out to her and see how that works out. And now I'm working with Farah, interviewing you. It was really sad to circle. see her go, by the way. <laughs> I was like, she's like, I'm never going to leave. I'm like, yes, you are. <laughs> but you know what? I, I know that she's always still there if you need, which is yeah. what's one of the most remarkable things about Victoria. She's yeah. very loyal. So loyal. And I'm sure yeah. that if you ever needed anything, you know, of yeah. course, outside of ALT Oh, hours. I know. I can. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just keep it real. Victoria. <laughs> I have to say, you look amazing. Your I outfit do. is is oh wh- thank is you why you know you're named black sheep because you're right you can't walk into a regular store at the mall and pick up something like thank that you. Yeah. Um, thank and you and we're also wearing a few of our own pieces I was gonna say and I, that top we just got in that bodysuit so Super nice and that one's a classic yep. just always and I can always. I feel like it's so comfortable too like it's yeah. so, sometimes when you find something nice it's so mm-hmm. hard to feel uh, good in it but yeah. the, what I've learned in business is in order to be great great at something you got to feel great and yeah. I, and I lean to you guys every time there's like a big event that's happening yeah. or we're doing a you know anything to do with media I come yeah. right to the shop and I'm like yeah. yo suit me up um, I'm really interested to learn because you are young how did you start like what was what how did you even take black sheep from a seed to the big flourishing tree that it is today I think that social media was the biggest factor in our success and the only factor in our success actually social media was huge for us if we didn't have it because of the location of where we are it's kind of like not something you would walk by not something everyone comes yeah it's a little hidden everyone that shops with us has literally come from social media and that's from like hustling from the beginning like liking people's pictures like just doing a bunch of things to get people's attention on your page and we never did advertisements at the beginning at all Mm -hmm. nothing like that we just literally did it through I don't know creating friendships through social media and liking people's photos and just random things like that and I feel like people sometimes don't think that social media marketing content creating is a job but it really is a job on its own it's and also we started out also doing it like a like a different way like influencer style where like I'm showing people where I'm going I'm showing people like how I'm buying like things like that I don't do it as much right now but before it was a lot of like the influencing growing the Instagram yeah growing the Instagram that's I've kind of like taken a step back a little bit right now I mean I would get back into it but for now I'm just like it's kind of grown (laughs) Yeah. So knowing what you know now, is there anything you would have done differently when you were first starting? No, because I feel like everything's a learning experience. Mm -hmm. So I feel like that's how you grow. So I wouldn't change anything. I mean, obviously, looking back, I would definitely like, yeah, would I, I wouldn't change it. But yeah, I did things, we did things wrong. But it's fine. Like you learn from it. And then you, I feel like that's how you become more successful. Right? Can of you course. elaborate? What did you do wrong and how did it, what did you do better from it? I feel like the way we used to buy, I think we learned our customers really well now. Mm-hmm. And before when we started out, we were buying things, we, we got a little excited, bought too much of things, mm-hmm. bought things that m- maybe wouldn't be, on, wouldn't be in style in the future. Like just knowing what people want and we didn't have a lot of dresses at the beginning. More casual wear. It was more casual, actually. And then people kept coming into our store being like, I need a dress for a baptism. I need a dress for this. And we're like, we have one dress in here. (laughs) So it it took like learning experiences to get to that point. So learning your customer. Yeah, learning the customer and catering and knowing that they can come to us and count on us when they want something more unique and like not something you could find at Aritzia or, you know what I mean? Absolutely. Yeah. I think at ALT too, we look at our problems as opportunities. Whenever yeah. a client is giving us feedback, whether it's positive or negative, constructive criticism, whatever, you, yeah. you know, whatever we think, uh, we, we always take that and then we say, okay, we have to adjust yeah. and we have to adapt to make sure that whatever we're doing, the customer right. is at the forefront of yeah. everything we do. And I was really shy actually when we first opened. I didn't want to talk to customers like I would hide in the back. I'm not even joking. My sister (laughs) and whoever the manager was at the time would have to deal with everyone. And I feel like I've really opened my shell and I've learned from that too, from just being around people all the time. You kind of like 
have to be putting more. yourself out there. Yeah. Yeah. I was really shy. Like there was times I would hide in the back because I was too shy to talk to people. Likewise. So. I think that I, I was You were shy too. Yeah. Like more yeah. shy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Look at you like, guys now. I know. Yes. On a I'm like, oh my goodness. Yeah, but coming in here, I'm like, oh my yeah. <laughs> Still have but that shyness in me, but. It'll always be there a little bit, yeah. right? But you grow, you learn. Yeah. Um, what are three vital things you do as an entrepreneur uh, that have contributed to your success? I think being authentic, mm -hmm. being creative, and having good customer service. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like me and Samira always try and be there, at least one of us now, every day of the week because people love to come. I mean, I'm like people like to come see us because right, they know you through your social they know media, us through social media. Right. So I think that's really important. Yeah. And just treating your customers like they're friends, too, mm -hmm. I think is really important to us. Not just like it's a business Deals. Yeah, yeah. It's not just a transaction. A yeah, we become friends yeah. with a lot of our yeah, customers. Right. Like, and I love seeing them come in. Like our regulars, I'm like, oh, you're here. Mm -hmm. Like, you it feel like I don't know. It's kind of like home. It doesn't feel like work. It's yeah. enjoyable no, for them no. to come and shop. It's, it's enjoyable yeah. for you to serve them. Yeah, and a lot of people just come hang out too, and yeah. we love that. Like, come hang out, come try and close if you want. Mm -hmm. Like, no problem. Yeah, yeah. Nice. I yeah. have to say, like, even when I would go into the store, I know that we have a, a relationship, but I would love that you guys kind of knew my body style. I yeah. would just have to say what I want or what yeah. I'm looking for. And then I would literally just have a whole bunch of outfits in the change room. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know, it was it's really nice when people are open to trying things. Cause a lot of times things don't look the same on the hanger mm -hmm. as they do on the body too. Mm -hmm. And I like, sometimes I'm like, Oh, you just like, you need to try this yeah. on. You yes. need to see how it looks on the body because yes. some of them just don't hang well. And you know, I that. wouldn't have tried. I wouldn't have tried this on. Yeah. If I just saw it on the rack. Yeah. Like all the things don't hang well. hanging there, right? right? This hangs, hangs yeah. horribly. But then you're like, but just try so it, just try it. it. Yeah. yeah. And when you feel the fabric yeah. too, when you feel this, it's such a nice, good thick, good quality. Mm -hmm. It's not just like a thin, like I don't know. It doesn't yeah. wrinkle. It's just and nice. it, your clothes last. Like I, I have to say, I got this before I had my daughter, so I, I want to say over eight years. Oh really? Yeah. This shirt. Oh my goodness. But I love that too. I have mm -hmm. things from years ago myself and I'll rewear them all the time. And they're still and relevant today. Yeah, like exactly. I can start my pleated yeah. dresses, I don't think pleats will ever go out of stuff. But when we get pleated things in, you've seen they fly. Yeah. They fly off the shelf. I think that one thing that I've always loved the most about shopping with you guys, because I even shopped with you guys before I started working for you guys. Yeah. And Everything that you guys bring in, you don't bring in um, a lot of quantity. Yeah. So when your customers are coming in, mm -hmm. you're able to buy something yeah. and you're not going to see somebody else wearing it. That's true. But also right? not too little, too. Not too we little. It's like the, just enough. Yeah. You, you know just what I mean? Give to more cater people to the enough opportunity people, to, yeah. But to also, like, you're going to stand out in this. You don't yeah. have, like, if you go to Aritzia or some of the oh my stores God. that are in a mall. I have one Aritzia dress and, like, 10 yeah. colors and so does everyone else and then you go there and everybody <laughs> right. has it yeah it's the black sheep yeah you can, you can right. be the that's one what, yeah yeah so they're good for I casual wear though like i love to yeah, get their for stuff sure. for comfort and right yeah we don't when have a, a lot of casual piece. pieces yeah yeah so i know that we you miss victoria i have to say <laughs> that she's, you know she, got, she gained a lot of very useful knowledge from working with black sheep that I'm mm -hmm. sure that she applies daily Definitely. with us. But when you're looking for, you know, team members, what exactly are you looking for when you're, when you're trying to find key people? We really just see if we vibe with them in the interview. If we vibe, like if we have kind of, I don't know, you can just, for us, we can just feel it. Yeah. When we interview people, we just know like, if will they click. be, yeah. We, if we click, that's great because you want a healthy work environment and they kind of become our friends, our staff. Mm -hmm. So it's important for us to have a good first, I don't know. Impression. You just feel it. Yeah. I don't know. I can't describe it. I just like the last girl we just hired when we met her, we just felt it. We're like, her name's Victoria too. <laughs> Had <laughs> to have the same name. Had to have a little bit. <laughs> yeah. But we just felt it during the interview. Like afterwards we're like, yes, like yeah, we can like get along she'll with this fit girl in. she'll fit in yeah, yeah. Right. i don't know it's the personality yeah, yeah but yes. personality it's the, it's the yeah. personality yes you're just like are you do you mesh well with our personality yeah, yeah they do so it's a really important factor like they're so like we have a lot of fun at work you yeah. know you For know sure. i'm weird at work <laughs> how many people do you have on the team now so there's 
Three girls. Okay. Yeah. And then you and Samir. And then me and Samir. Yeah. Amazing. It's a small store. It's like 600, no, 500 square feet. Very small. That's okay. So, yeah. How do you <laughs> find it to stay like on top of trends? So you said 10 years ago, there weren't a lot of boutiques like Black Sheep. And now that a lot of people are coming out, that maybe they're copying some styles or they're copying releases. <laughs> how do you stay on top of trends and how do you handle the competition? Um... Honestly, I always do my research and know what's trending. Like, mm-hmm. I always know. Right. But I don't really buy for the trends. I We genuinely buy what we like. Right. Like, if I think, me and my sister do all the buying. If I think this is really nice and if I think this is timeless or, like, I look for timeless and we look for originality. Like, mm-hmm. is this right. unique enough for people t- to want? And is it right. special enough? Right. And... A lot of things, like, they're not, I would say our price point is between what, it can go from 100, it can go up to 600. Yeah. I would say, like, the higher price point things, they're they're pretty, like, timeless. Right. And that's what I prefer over right. trendy. Of course. Because right. if you're yes. spending that much, you want to wear it for the next few years. Right. You, you don't want it to, like, go out of style last. right away. Yeah. 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 And so. How do you find marketing, what were your marketing strategies other than social media? Honestly, that's it. Just social media? Yeah, it was honestly just social media for us that we did. And we just, like I I said, we went on like a liking spree and this Mm -hmm. and that. And creating personal relationships. Yeah, personal relationships and creating our, like trying to show our personal lives, where we go, where I'm eating, what I'm doing, and what kind of makeup I'm using. So you don't just relate it to clothing and the store. You relate it to your life. And I ended up opening that. a secondary account, Black Sheep Herd, mm-hmm. where it's more lifestyle. I haven't been active on it recently. Like right. I said, I've like taken a step back recently, but I mean, I will. I always like do that. I'll I'll go MIA for a little, and then I'll come and back, back full force. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I find that having that personal right people yeah. resonate with a with personal yeah. life. So it's mm-hmm. one thing yeah. to see you, and I also in the store. Yeah. I also think that when they see me on. Like, I model for our store, too. And when they see me, I never smile. I look intimidating to people. That's what I've heard. And then when (laughs) they meet me or when they see how I am on social media, they're like, oh, you're nothing like I thought. And that's important to me because I'm not intimidating. I'm, like, opposite of intimidating. (laughs) I'm literally a nerd. (laughs) Yeah. Like, I'm like, really? It's because I look a little bitchy, you know, in the videos or picture. I don't like to smile in the... right. So it can you're come doing off. your modeling stuff. Yeah, you know, I, I, yeah, yeah. I just don't like, I'm not like yeah. this, you know? So I feel like when they get to know me on a more personal level, they're right. like, oh, pleasantly right. surprised. Yeah. And Samira, too. She's, like, super nice. Yes. Yeah. Samira's super nice, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I don't know. I feel like that's, it's good to know that about us. Of course. For sure. To not think we're, like, these intimidating, yeah, like, no, not snobby, at all. you know? Do you use your Black Sheep account to show your, like, personal life, too? Or is or is that a separate... Sometimes, yeah. Yeah. So I would say before COVID, it was way more. I was way more of a sharer. And then it kind of, like, toned down after. Right. And right now, I'm renovating my... Pl- like, I don't... I need to get more settled, and then I'll start again. I'm just not, like, settled. We're renovating our place, and mm-hmm. it's just, like, everything. You know, when it's in shambles, you're yeah. like, huh? It's very intriguing for, like, all kinds of businesses to see, like, how you've grown based on social media. Yeah. And you keep saying mm-hmm. alone. Like, it was just It so was right. literally right. social right. media. And using influencing tacti- yes. tactics in order to gain a following, yeah. which is very interesting, you know, to hear. Yeah. Is that something that just came natural to you? Or for those people who it's not natural for, like, what would you suggest? Honestly, it, it was natural to us because when we started out, we didn't have our store yet and we had the inventory. So we started taking pictures in our balcony and then of us. And yeah. we didn't know, like, we didn't know how to hire a model. We didn't know. We were just like, let's just wear it ourselves and see how people yeah. react. We didn't. We yeah. honestly had no idea how this would go. Right. Yeah. No idea. No idea. Trial and error. Yeah. Literally trial and error and how did like what came to you guys to say you know what we're gonna we're sisters and we're gonna do a shop and it's gonna like this is what we're gonna do how did when did that spark happen and how did it happen we honestly just had a space in the where we are now 
we had it and we're like, oh, so what should we do with the space? Mm. And we're like, we like clothes. <laughs> we really like clothes and fashion. And honestly, and we're like, yeah, there's really nothing out there. Yeah. Like every store we would go to go into, we're like, okay, mm, right. All right. Like right. I there's didn't know any individual I boutiques. Yeah. Right. I didn't know any other store. Mm-hmm. You're either besides, shopping at the mall. Yeah. Besides the mall stores, I knew nothing. I, right. I didn't know any other boutiques. So right. oh, honestly, that's how we started <laughs> to be. Can we uh, ask you a little bit about how your business like changed during COVID? COVID was a little tough because people weren't going anywhere. So they weren't shopping, right? right? Like they were trying to buy casual clothing. And at that time we did not have casual clothing. We had very dressy, like event clothing. So we had to kind of pivot and buy more casual things to kind of keep selling. And right. that's what we did. We, I did a lot of videos in my house too, personal. That's when I was actually the most, I was using your personal so lot. many yeah i was filming in my closet every day i was doing tiktoks i was doing um outfit transitions i was doing mm-hmm. makeup tutorials i was doing um uh cooking yeah. tips this that like i was just trying keeping, to stay relevant trying to, yeah and trying to entertain myself and our audience mm-hmm. you know because everyone was at home at that yeah. time yes and honestly there was nothing to sell like mm-hmm. there was no clothes to sell we got some casual clothes people bought that but that's pretty much it but now that COVID's over, yeah, you know, you, you've said that COVID's been a blessing because... Uh, yeah, for the past, different. like, since 2021, yeah, I would say that people, the events started back up, so people were, like, excited to come shop again mm-hmm. because for, what was it, the all of 2020? Yeah, at least. Yeah. And more. Yeah. A year and a half, they weren't able to do anything. Everyone was locked up, cooped up. Yeah. So I feel like it was, I mean, oh, it, wasn't, for sure. it wasn't a blessing because, I mean... Yeah. Obviously, right. there was, it was tragic, No, but some but businesses did yeah. um, thrive through COVID or we after did, COVID. Yeah, we did right? after. So because just because the events were kind of like all, everyone had to move. Right, everyone had events. to move it. And by the time they moved it, everything was opening up 2022 again. 2022 had a lot of events. There was weddings on Wednesdays, yeah. Mondays. Like right. people were getting married every day of the right. week. Yeah, they yeah. just, they didn't care. They just want to get married, mm-hmm. right? They're like, I don't want to wait for another year. I'm getting married this year. I don't care if it's on a Tuesday. And people are going to weddings on Tuesdays, which... And then they need an I outfit. Mean, it's right. not bad, though. Yeah. It's not bad. I don't... I wouldn't mind going to a wedding on a Tuesday. I mean, I would they prefer the They end earlier weekend. now, I feel. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I'm Saturday know. night, have a drink, I you know? know. I mean, um, yeah, no, that's great. What advice would you give to people who are looking to start a business? To try and be themselves, not try and copy someone else, because I feel like that's just... There's no point. I I don't think anyone will succeed as well as they could if they're being original and being themselves and just doing something unique, like whatever you want to do, like whether it's staging or this or that, just add your own unique touch to to it. it. Yeah. That's yeah, it's what, it's what will make you stand out. Yeah. Right. Like what are you going to offer that's different? Anyone Mm -hmm. can open a clothing store. Anyone can, you know, Mm -hmm. anyone can Mm -hmm. do anything. But if you just add something unique to it. Yeah that's more personalized, I feel like it would be a success. What now is your favorite like, drink? <laughs> I'm going to sound so boring. I don't drink alcohol. So like, honestly, water, <laughs> <laughs> smoothies, juice. Right on. Like, when are you most productive? At night. Oh my God. Really? I love. That's what I said. Yes. At night. I just feel like it's very calm at night, everything. I, I don't feel the stress of the daytime of like, okay, go, go, go. You got to do something. I like to be in my bed at night. Like when I'm doing my buying, I like to just scroll on Start my phone. researching. Yeah. Right. I do my research at night. My what, best research. What time is night? Because for us, it's 9 p.m. I'm in bed by 9 p.m. What's, what's night for you? Yeah. I mean, it'll, it could start at 8 okay. and go until like midnight. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right on. I get really sucked into it. Once I start, it's right. like, it's like... I can't stop. We'll put on a movie and I'm like, wait, I do something for work and I just can't stop. I'm like, no, sorry, I can't watch the movie. I get too into it. That sounds like your gift, like your talent to like see something and know. I'm that always kind of trying to find new yeah. brands and things like that mm-hmm. to, um, I don't know, have in the store that other people won't have. I mean, obviously people will always copy you, but at least you're first. <laughs> right, right. you do a great job honestly Thank you. the stuff that you guys have at the store you can't find Thank it anywhere else to be honest you. yeah 
And the service is unparalleled. So. Thank you. Yeah. What is your favorite TV will. series? Lost. What? I thought you were going to say Money Heist. Oh, and that's why I asked you. Oh, my God. Because I, I know that the two too. of us. No, but Lost is my number one, baby. Yeah, I, I watched that through COVID, actually. You made me watch that through Lost. COVID. <sighs> it just did something to Money me. Heist. Honestly, I cried so much when it ended for days. I yeah. I'm going to have to watch these. No, I yeah. cried for days. Oh, no. Yeah. It was bad. Okay. It was bad. So I was a mess. Watch Lost. And okay. Money Heist, too. Me and Victoria <laughs> would send pictures of each other crying. Crying. <laughs> Oh my God. watching this series i'm like oh my yeah. god the professor and we we fell in love with the professor yeah yeah <laughs> uh what's your favorite pizza topping why do you ask me such boring questions because i'm gonna be boring like what's cheese? your favorite what pizza? cheese, <laughs> cheese. <laughs> like Come people on. are gonna be like this girl's lame actually yeah. i'm not going to her store i'm yeah. kidding if i wasn't in the clothing industry it would be the restaurant industry i'm yeah. obsessed with the restaurant industry like obsessed i do research if i'm going i'm going to new york next week I will do research for days on what restaurants I should go to. Okay, so what are your top three restaurants in Toronto? I like a Kirabak. Oh, sound the best. Like, I do really like a Kirabak. I do like the fusion. Mm -hmm. I honestly, for something basic but good, Nervosa, I really yeah. like. Yeah. Their pasta's good, yeah. really good. Their pizza's good. Um, for pizza, Badiali. I keep hearing about this place and I want to go. I've been going since last year. It is so good, but their slices are better than the to go, like when you get oh. it to go. Yeah. Because they reheat. Okay. There's something about when they reheat that slice that's just, that just it hits does the, the trick. Yeah. <laughs> you said two pizza places. So is it safe to say that it, like pizza is favorite? Italian's my favorite. Yeah. Okay. I cool. do like, in, I like all cuisine. Indian, I love. Actually, Adrak is good in Yorkville. You should try it. Yeah. So if you want to get clothes and get all caught up on the food <laughs> on the industry, food and, yeah. Yeah. we just food go see Sarah clothes. at Black Sheep. <laughs> yeah. People always ask me, what restaurant should I go, and go to in Miami? What restaurant should I go to in New York? I'm like, oh. <gasps> but it's good because now they're coming to you not just for clothes. They're coming to you for yeah, advice. They always and, ask me. You know, yeah. you're always top of mind for them. Yeah. Right. What is the most played song in your phone? <laughs> it makes people like stop. I've and been think. listening to French music nonstop. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, I play it in the store too. What? Yeah, I play French music all okay. the time now. Can we hear a track? Because I'm Deji. not following. Deji's listening to French music too. How do I, I? How do I? Just play it off your Spotify thing and put it right into the mic because oh I'm curious. Okay, that's my favorite song. Let me skip a little. Oh, she's a romantic. I'm really shocked. Yeah, it's called Love It. Love. When I used to work at Black Sheep, it was Eminem. <laughs> <laughs> this is a bit different. I don't know where this came from. Oh, but this is, I get in moods. You know, sometimes okay. it's kind of... Oh, it's so good. Oh. Right? Each their own. It's good. That's not what I expected. We're going to need actually. your playlist at ALT. <laughs> yeah, I put it on Spotify in Black Sheep. Oh. It's just Emma Peters' playlist, and it's still all music like this. It's just so chill. It's perfect. So nice. Yeah. Do you speak French? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand a word they're saying. And I'm like, wow. They could like be so saying, beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> they could be swearing. And I'm like, oh my God, I love it. It's so romantic. <laughs> I actually have one more question for you. Yeah. If What is your favorite outfit? If you could pick one, <sighs> what is your favorite? Like that I own or at the store right now? or At, at the store and the one that you own. It would probably, right now at the store, my favorite is this dress. I obviously have it, but I haven't worn it yet. This one, it looks so good on everyone. Ooh. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I saw that the it other day. It looks so good on everyone. It's ridiculous because it just, it goes really tight right here. Mm -hmm. yes. So it just cinches Hugs your you waist. In all the right yes. Oh my God, it's so good. That's probably one of my favorites right now. I switch my favorites up, but that one would be my favorite. Another one would be probably be the pleated dresses we have. Oh my oh, god, those wow. are so but we don't, nice. Sorry, we don't have any of these right now. I found they one in my like sister's closet the today. other day. Really? She yeah. has one? Apparently. Oh my god. <laughs> Apparently I'm coming for it. Oh, is it white? <laughs> no, it's light pink. Oh. Yeah, it's oh, so cute. It? I was like, where did okay, this come yeah, from? That's everyone's favorite. The second we post that, mm -hmm. people well, literally, I'm not literally joking, they run in. The they run in. Because wow. we don't put it online. There's certain things we don't put online just because we don't want to deal with sizing and shipping and bringing it back and right. sending it. We'd rather mm -hmm. just sell it there and it's gone, you know? Right. Mm -hmm. Some things when we know the fit or, I don't know, something isn't 100% right. correct. Right. Yeah. I'd rather people come try it yeah. than to sell it online because once we put this one dress online that sold out right away, got it returned every single person returned Came back it. just as fast every single person yeah but it sold out 
in two seconds too in store but to the right body like right, right. because it fit their body perfectly right. yeah. yeah so is your whole like closet like how big is your closet <laughs> i feel like i always say i have no clothes and then everyone's like are you okay and i'm like no oh, i guess not <laughs> i don't know is it but like i feel like like is it dedicated to sarah's closet or are we just i don't right feel like it is but yeah <laughs> I, I feel i also give my clothes away mm -hmm. at some point you know i'm a hoarder but some things i give away i give my clothes away too but i'll never give away my black sheet pieces again because i honestly just feel like they're so unique and i'll end up wearing them again at some point yeah you know what i mean yeah i, so, end up, I, I still wear a lot of yeah. things from like four years ago five years ago so well so yeah it was so nice thank to have you, so you on thanks uh, <laughs> you and samira and the store have been an inspiration for me and motivation for me you guys kind of allowed me to really take charge of the business when i was there and i think you that do it by <laughs> <laughs> no but i really think that that's helped me in my role yeah. with alt and i'm forever grateful for that because now i'm able to excel at it in a different at a different company so yeah thank Don't you guys for that <laughs>